Hello, I believe you are familiar with the flywheels, the rotation and motion. So we're going to do this on this X. So let's get started. So we're given a statement say the fly will rotate at the 20 meters ref per, per second slow down uniformly to 10 <coughs> ref per second in 50 second. So like this one, this is kinematics. So you're going to use the equation of motion. So the equation of motion is similar to this one. So the equation of motion of kinematics is similar to the one that you know for is for linear motion. So we are going to use it to solve this one. So we are given this. Uh, so it means it calculate the angular retardation. Retardation is this is ex is the acceleration or oh, slowing down so it's going to rest of the flywheel rate at flywheel in rate per second square so this is like acceleration because there's the square the number of rev made by made while slowing down so when you rotate how many revs did it rotate until it stops so this is how you calculate. So you have to calculate it. Let's start by calculating the convecting from refs to radian. So so this one putting use this two pi. and ref uh, revolutional speed which is represented by n i'm going to put 20 here and then the answer multiplying this one by 20 you get 125,6 radian per second So the next one changing using the same the n represent the uh, refs uh, rotational speed in in a circular motion. So the two pi represent the rotation, the full rotation is two pi which is the same as three sixty. So multiplying by Then you're going to get 62,83 radian per second. So from here we're looking for angular retardation. So we're going to use this um, formula. Which is the same as the linear linear equation. Then making alpha the subject of the formula. This is not W, it's a Then we're substituting this here. This is initially, this is finally. So it slowed down the acceleration.
and 50 second so we're going to get negative 1 comma 2 6 radian per second square then this is how you calculate the retardation now I'm going to calculate the the number of refs so for the number of ref we are going to use this um, this one is similar to the equation of motions so if you are familiar with the equation of motion you can able to relate this one from the equation of motion so and then substituting here we are going to sim simply put this this is the final one which is theory acceleration and then this is the initial one before it just it stop to its uh, its retardation so you have to find the radiant in order to find the 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 number of of revolution the number of revolution how many times did it rotate until it slowed down so the from this uh, maximum uh, maximum rotation speed so we're going to yeah. So it's in red in radian. Radian. And then we are going to use this uh, equation to find the number of ro a revolution. Which means this one is three pi like this so this is a number of, of of rotation so this is the rotation so making the number of rotation subject of the formula we get this then we are going to substitute this value here So the radian is the angle that it, it did make. It was the rotation. So it's in revolution. Ref. So this is the number of ref that it makes. So because this one is a rotation in motion. So one complete uh, rotation make one this refs. This is the number of rotation. So the radian, this one. So that means it make it rotate and rotate and rotate 
and rotate so each revolution it's what is 2 pi which is equals to 360 which is one cycle so one revolution is 360 so we're going to divide this one by how many 360 do we have here that's where we get this one so when you rotate one is 2 pi and then another rotation we add another pi another 360 another rotation plus 2 pi like that they add up until they get to this point so you just divide this one by 2 pi to check the number of rev rot revolution of or rotation this is just the angle adding up the angle when you rotate one you add the angle rotate two add another angle you can rotate many times so as you can see here you can see your one rotation is two pi and then another rotation become two pi and then another rotation maybe you have a half rotation that means it's pi so you add this one so they added this one until it give them this one and then we have to divide it their rotation so that's it so if you like this video you can just press the like button if you want more video like this you can just subscribe so thank you for those who subscribe so if you think it's helpful and then you want more video like this you can also subscribe to see more video like this and thank you for watching see you on the next video